What's good with you, Team Tommy? Nah, I can't lie. I did get 11 wins in champs. And I know that does not sound like a lot. But, bro, so, like, I started out at the beginning of this year. We're in 2024. So, I guess, I, okay, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. In 2023, I would get maybe two wins in champs. In finals, in, nah, in, in playoffs. Then, I would say, around January-ish, I would get, like, Okay, hold on. No, let, let, let's restart. Let's restart. Let's restart. Let's restart. Bro, beginning of the year, I probably wouldn't get one win, bro. So let, let, let's start in dibs because, like, I, I wasn't even playing champs until we'll get to there. So when we first start, dib 10. Dib 10. Dib 10 at the beginning of this. of, of tw Well, I can't say beginnings. In August of 2023 or September. September, that's when uh, FC drops. But all, I can't say all, because I bought, so I got FIFA 23 around December when it was free. And this is where I learned how to play, like, against CPU, and I learned SBCs to a T. I, bro, I can, bro, look, to get an 83 overall squad, all you need, you need an 85, an 84, what would that be? Three 83s, three, hold on, hold on. 85, 84, 383s, three, yep, three, um, 82s and three eighty ones. Now, granted, if you're using higher overalls, if you're using lower overalls, like that's interchangeable, but like that's, that's an 83 overall squad, but I got SBCs down to a T and especially during, during footies, I ended up getting addicted to SBCs. So coming into this year, September, but I'm, I can't keep it a stat, but I was div 10. And I was, I made it to Div 9. I was pretty happy. And I was like, ooh, I'm a Div 9 player. I, I, I wasn't like that. I wasn't like, oh, I'm a Div 9 player. Let me scratch that. But it was kind of like, okay, I'm finally winning some games. So then I would say around November, November, I hit D8. And I was like, ooh, do I go to D7? I did. I hit D7. Now, December, it was to the point where I was waxing folks in D7, but I was like, bro, I don't want to go to D6 and then get my ass whooped, and then I can't go back to uh, go back down. So I would just chill there. I would chill in that little hot spot, and I was only getting around two wins in uh, playoffs. So then I would say... January is that when um when when was uh team of the year? Whenever it was team of the year, I I I moved up a little bit. I moved up a little bit, but I was still in that like same like little like vicinity. So like I was still get I would only get like three ish wins in uh playoffs. So, but honestly, let's just talk about now, bro. A few weeks ago, a couple weeks ago. Last month, but I was I'm only getting four wins in playoffs, and I'm I'm then I'm only getting six wins in uh, finals. Two weeks ago, three weeks ago, yeah, let's say three weeks ago, I started getting nine wins in finals. Uh, this week, I, this week I got eleven, bro. I got eleven, Team Tommy, bro. I can't lie, bro. Next next year, we're aiming for elite division. Now, granted. I'm only in Div 4 right now. I made it to Div 4. But this is the first time I've actually tried to, like, go deep, deep, deep into, like, advancing the rivals, bro. I used to just sit back and, like, bro, I can't lie. I used to just be happy spanking folks in D8. But, like, now, like, bro, I won a game the other day in D4 or Div 4. Um, My, my bad. That, that's that's kind of how, like, we say shit for football. But, like, so... Okay, I guess this is football, but American football. We we say like D four, D six, D. Um, I guess this is for like college, yo. All right, bro. I'm I'm doing a whole bunch of yapping, bro. I'm doing a whole bunch of yapping. I got eleven wins. This this week I did go five and five in what's it called in uh playoffs, but last week I went six six and four in playoffs. 
All right, but I say all that to say we're getting better at FC. We have a favorite team is Real Madrid. We love Real Madrid. And we we learned a lot so far about football. So what we're going to do now, Team Tommy, we're, we're going to learn some of the rules and why, why certain things are a certain way. So today we have a brief history of Diago Forlan's shirt incident. Now, I have no idea what went down. I'm assuming this is why you can't take your shirt off after a goal. But we're here to learn. We're here to learn. Now, granted, this is only a minute and 41 seconds. So we're going we're, we're gonna to do a couple other videos, like learning about the rules. Because as an American, this, this is not our first sport. But in America, now, granted, bro, I asked my mom to play this when I was young, bro. This is, cra this, this, this is crazy, bro. Imagine how good I could have been. Listen to this. So, I'm in third grade or second grade. I said, Mom, I want to play baseball and soccer. Gave me the hardest no I could ever receive, bro. No. Then I saw, like, I would say a, maybe a year later or even that same year. But I watched my friend, bro. I forget if he went in for a kick. Yeah, so he's like going in for a kick. And somebody else is kicking at the same time. And you got to have brittle bones for this to happen. And you wear shin guards. So I don't know how this happened. But like, bro, they kicked. And like one shin hit the other shin. So it was kind of like this. And just snapped my friend's whole, whole shin bone in half, bro. Broke his whole bone. So I was like, bro, yeah. I'm good. I'm good on even wanting to play this sport. I didn't want to do that. But listen, bro. Tommy is black, Irish, and Puerto Rican. Now tell me that's not a combo. Just off rip. Just off rip to play those two sports, baseball and, and soccer or football. Now I'm 5'10", I'm 5'10", some would say 5'10 and a half, I would like to say 5'11 on a great day, but bro, that's spectacular height for the pitch, bro, and I ran a 4'4'5", I ran a 4'4'5 in the 40-yard dash, and, and I ran now I was about to cap. I was about to cap. Be like I ran a ten eight. I didn't run no ten eight, bro. But I ran an eleven two in the hundred meter. So like, I'm not world class. Like put me in the Olympics. Put me in college sprinting. But bro, I'm not slow, bro. And bro, ooh, go look up something, bro. Go look up some of the top, bro. If you know my name, if you know my actual name, I'm not about to dox myself. But go look up. I'm telling you, bro. Go look up my football highlights, bro. American football highlights. But I would have been shifty on the pitch, bro. I would have been shifty. So I know for a fact, bro, I could have been balling here. I could have been balling. And then just me being Puerto Rican, me being a Hispanic, bro, I could have done some damage on the baseball, on the baseball uh, field. <sighs> it is what it is. Though. Let, let's get into the video. I did a lot of yapping. That bounce off the goalie? Spencer's free kick. BT went to meet it. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, 2002. On that day, Man United won 2-1. to one. BT went to meet it. It's some old footage, Team Tommy. Fernandez. Fernandez. Oh, what a strike. The 79th minute. All right, that kind of ruined it. Now that goal was nuts. Damn. Now they know why they bought him. 
Nico Fola has still not got his United shirt on. <laughs> Is that not a bookable offence? I, I think, think it might be. But the referee's given the advantage. And Fola's back there helping out. So he played, he played the rest of the game with the shirt off? Now he's being told to put his top back on. <laughs> That's a moment for the ladies anyway. Still not got no top on. We can't work it out which side it should be. Come on, Albert, for God's sake, you'll be getting a sack. Albert and Alec working overtime. So is that why people can't take their shirt off now? Yeah, I can't lie, Team Tommy. That video might have been a little like, huh. <laughs> All right, well, now we got 16 things every football fan should know. This is an American song. All right, hold on. We're not even reading. This one's only two minutes. These are quick videos, Team Tommy. So, like, we're, we're going through a couple. The world's oldest football club was formed in 1857. When was the oldest? What's the oldest American football The Arizona Cardinals, 1898. But I'm going to keep it a stack. I don't know why I'm not just pulling it up here like for you guys to see while I do it. Nah, I know why. I really didn't feel like it. But I guess I will, I will get the type in. Otis American football team. Now, I'm going to keep it a stack. Hold on, let's just see this answer real quick. Come on, chat. It does not take that long, bro. Damn, okay, okay. So really, so who are they playing, bro? each other just practicing for the next team to be created and whenever the next team would be created well whenever they would be created that that's when they would have um a, a little a slight advantage The Cardinals were in Chicago to start. So did football start in Chicago? I wonder why all, all these sports started in the 19 or 1800s. What were they doing before then? Just jacking off? I'm talking about American football, bro. How is this American football? Rutgers and Princeton, 1869. So that's 12 years after. So when I looked up, what's the first football team? Why did they show me this, bro? Using based on the rules of soccer. The game has ancient origins. Hmm. 
Well, you learn something new every day, Team Tommy. Sheffield FC was founded by two British Army officers, Colonial Nathaniel Creswick and Major William Priest. All right, hold on. This is this still isn't getting full screen. I need to stop doing that. So that's gone. In 1950, India withdrew from the World Cup because they were not allowed to play barefoot. India, India, India. But have you guys been seeing like the Indian um IG reels? We're not about to talk crazy about a country, but like those IG reels are different, and I can't lie, bro. It's on Twitter too, bro. Well, they call it X now, bro. Wild, I mean, wild videos that I'm seeing, bro. I don't even want to like listen to this. Let's <laughs> just not even get into that. The penalty spot was invented as a cost saving measure to replace the penalty. Huh. Whoa. So if somebody had a penalty shot, they would draw a whole line across the pitch. No, that's so deep. When the pimp's in the crib, mom, drop it like it's hot. Arsenal Station used to be called Gillespie Road and was only changed after then AFC manager Herbert Chapman requested it. Why he requested it? But I can't lie. So in the NFL, we have the NFC and AFC. So that's kind of wild. Unless that's just for like Arsenal FC. Drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. When the pigs try to get at you. Park it like it's hot. Park it like it's hot. Park it like it's hot. And if a nigga get an attitude, pop it. No way. In Bangkok, 5,098 teams competed in the second Bangkok League. Whoa. With over 3,000... I was about to say 3,500. Yeah, I'm fried. Bro, what? How do you set up a tournament like that? And look at how they're playing, bro. The monks versus the ninjas. No, I'm kidding. That's, that's messed up. That's messed up. But like, wow. That, that's a, that, that's crazy. That's crazy. Pop it like it's hot. Pop it like it's hot. I got the rule on my arm and I'm... Cristiano Ronaldo's dad gave him the name Ronaldo after Ronaldo Reagan. Ronald Reagan? No, nah, there's no way he's he's named after Ronald Reagan, bro. Bro, I'm about to look it up on my phone again. I, I'm, I'm pulling it up here. Why? Bro, damn, it just took everything away. You guys like my wallpaper for today? But why did just take it? Maybe it's because... No? Why did it take all of it away? Okay, so maybe I do have to do this then. To be able to have both up. Alright, bro. Why was... Naldo... Named after... Bro, chat. Are you... Bro, chat is on dick. Wipe your mouth, chat. Wipe your mouth. Because his parents liked the name and thought it sounded strong. Bro, chat, are you dumb? Nah, hold on. Maybe I'm dumb. Ronald Reagan was an actor? Bro, imagine seeing George Washington in a movie, bro. 
appearing in more than 50 films. There's no way, bro. Wow. So I mean, we're learning more than more than more than football today, I guess. We're we're, we're learning about history. Bro, this is insanity, bro. Like what? Bro, that's like electing what's his name? Uh he was a governor of California for a second. I mean, not granted, California is a little weird and they're a little different. So you could have somebody from Hollywood make it as a governor in um, California. What was his name? Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> that name is crazy. But um, he, he fun fact, he comes to Ohio uh, once a year for his like um, Arnold, Arnold uh, classic. People from around the world come come here to compete. But um, anyway, bro, what? Bro, do we open up the Brit Nakana? Uh, they're just saying the same thing, bro. What? Dude must have been a good actor if he um if Ronaldo is named after him and then he was also a president after that. I'm pretty sure he was racist. A complex one, bro. It's pretty, it's yes or no, bro. Can be subjective. He opposed the Civil Rights Act and Voting Rights Act. How is he not racist? Let's try a different topic. Whoa. Chat, are you racist? Let's try something else. Called Africans monkeys. Yeah, he's racist. He's racist. He's racist. But Richard Nixon was for sure racist. So, like, yeah, that's crazy, bro. That's crazy. Uh, Tommy somehow managed to turn. Uh, a one minute, 40 second video and a two minute. I forget how long this one was. It was like two minutes something, bro. In the 25 minutes, bro. <laughs> like, the big yapper Tommy. Big yapper Tommy, bro. I just be yapping, bro. So, okay. I, I guess this one might be just... Two, nah. Yeah, I guess this one might be two two videos. And then we'll, we'll, we'll do another one of the other rules. Pele was the first person to call football the beautiful game. People just call it that. 
ice cubes, see these ice creams, eligible bachelor, million dollar bow, that's whiter than... Chris Nicole of Aston Villa scored all four goals. Now, how is that possible? Did he was that were those own goals? But I'm not looking this way. That would turn into a whole other thing. Exterior like Chris says, the interior like super. The largest ever attendance for a football match was almost 200,000 people at Brazil versus Uruguay. Really? Nah, now that I'm thinking about it, bro, 200,000 is a lot. Because I think now stadiums at the max hold like 60K. I know like the average stadium is like around like 35-ish, 30-ish, like for a big stadium, like a real stadium. 200,000. How many people can fit in the new Real Madrid Stadium? Santiago Bernabeu. Oh, 83. Dude, that thing is about to be nice. Have you guys seen it? Dude, it's about to be nice. Might as well look it up for shits and gables. All right, you know, y'all need to keep going. Referees have the power to send themselves off. Hold on. I did not know that. In 1998, English referee Martin Sylvester gave himself a red card after punching a player. So he punched the player and then gave it to himself. I guess I respect him being non-biased, but like, shouldn't a different ref? I, I don't know, man. I, I guess there's only one referee and then it's the line judges and stuff like that. I don't know. Former Welsh international Ryan Giggs, Captain England at schoolboy level. Damn. So what is that? He's like, I I'm not from England. I don't know what schoolboy level is. What is that? 13, 14? Some shit. You should think about it. Take a second. Matter of fact, schoolboy level is high school. Take four B and think before you fuck with little skateboard P. When the pimps in the crib, man. Drop it. Originally. Is it Einfield? Anfield? Was Everton's home ground. It was only when they moved out that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, bro, I was about to just stop reading it and then be like, this doesn't even really matter. Needing to fill the stadium with a new club, the landlord founded Liverpool FC. Wow. So if Everton didn't want to move stadiums, there would like never be a look. Drop it like it's hot. Wow. Drop it like it's hot. When the pigs try to get at you, park it like That's it's hot. That's insane. Park it like it's hot. Park it like it's hot. And if a nigga get an attitude, pop Before Fergie. It's Fergie, isn't it? I think that's Fergie. Before Fergie took over the Red Devils, Aston Villa had won more trophies than Man United. Yo, I'm just now realizing 
this is a ship and that is a devil. Oh, thank thank the Lord I don't like Man Manchester United, bro. And this is probably why Man United always loses. Wow. So they just openly promote the devil on their uh their patch. Pop it like it's hot, pop it like it's hot, pop it's like it's hot. Like like I got the rule of your and I'm pouring Sean down and I'm over. Is his name Emily? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Am I fried? I thought Ivanho was his first name. Bro, I wouldn't want my name to be Emily either. But that's kind of like... I mean, I'm not from England, bro. I don't know how you guys do it over there. You guys like beans for breakfast. So, like, I don't know how you guys do it over there. But, like, Emily Ivanho Heskey. It's a wild name. Dante... Then that's a wild name. But one, you you got a female's name as your first name. And then you got you got this little I don't know if you guys use this word in, in England. No. Nah. No, nah, we don't, Tommy. No. Nah. I'm gonna keep it real, bro. Yvonne Ho. Yvonne Ho. <laughs> that's a little, that's a little crazy. Come a gangster, but y'all been there. Luis Suarez's daughter is called Delfina, which is an anagram of I'm really. What does that? What does that even mean? Oh, you just switch over, like switch words, or not words, but switch the letters around to form a different word. But I kind of feel like this one could be made up. There's no way he did that. You know what? He did play for Liverpool. Do you, Do you think? Do you guys think he did that? Yeah, I had to do that. I keep a blue flag hanging. Norwegian international Svein. Grondelin missed a World Cup qualifier in the 1970s after running into a moose while out jogging. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You couldn't stop jogging? Now, I was going to say, if you got into a car crash, bro, a moose is huge, bro. Is it mooses? Is that how you say the uh, plural? Bro, mooses are huge. Bro, I saw one, bro. It's the size of a, it was the size of a store. I swear, bro. I swear to you, bro. I mean, look how big it is compared to a car. No, I saw one standing outside of a, a store on Twitter, bro. Like, wow. Nah, I'm I don't I'm not a big fan of trophy hunters at all. At all. So if you're a trophy hunter, you're not in Team Tommy. Damn, damn. Sorry, sorry, glitching a little bit. Do I not have... Let's go ahead and look up. Whoa, whoa. Did you guys see that, Team Tommy? It said you need to be a Man U fan. Damn. Um, Moose. I can't lie. One day we're going to have to uh, just react to stuff on X. Bro, I can't lie. X is kind of wild. I'll be having an opinion. Damn! Bro, that thing is... It's like a Pokemon, bro. That thing is huge. Oh, did it shed its... What's it called? Dude, no. Look how big it is, bro. Wow.
Bro, that's almost like that one movie. I forget what the movie is called, but like it's like a person like on top of the head. But it's crazy. It's a crazy movie, bro. And people used to worship that thing as a god. I'm pretty sure. The fuck is that? After disregarding warnings from locals, a man is charged by a moose. Maybe this is what happened to him. All right, 40, 40 seconds is kind of deep. You're wishing it would hit me right now. Yeah, I am. Me and Hoppy might hit both of you guys. Got to hit him. A little closer. A little closer. Go on. You guys are fucking idiots. Don't touch your foot. Get him. Yeah, get him. Get him. Get him! <laughs> Scared trampling you. Is it, is it your moose? Your moose? No, get wait till the yeah, end, get bro. Him. Get him. Yeah, get him! Now, granted, we are a little, like, this is far away. This is close. But look at the size compared to the car, bro. Bro, I want to I wanna see the picture of it standing next to the building, bro. It was insane. I want you guys to see it. But I, I got a couple more scrolls, and then if we don't see it, then we don't see it. All right, you know what? Twitter is infamous for just showing porn out of nowhere, and that's not what we want to see, Team Tommy. Um, all right, well, if I if I see it again on my Twitter on my Twitter page, that's that that looks crazy, bro. I'm telling you, you can't you can't escape it on X anymore, bro. Um, yeah. If I end up seeing it, I'll just I'll drop the link in the description. Yeah, seeing a whole bunch of stuff I don't want to see, bro. Seeing a whole bunch of stuff I don't want to see, bro. All right, yeah. Let, let's just let's just go ahead. Bro, they're going to say the feet. Seven feet at the shoulder. Imagine it like standing up. Bro, what the... F Dude, I might have to get a new battery for my mouse. It's kind of like glitching. All right. We, we, yeah, we're, we're tweaking. We're tweaking. We're tweaking. And on my back side, but don't leave it the left side. Bro, who else do you, who else do you guys know, kid? Okay. In turn, uh, I mean, this would technically be what? To like three minutes and 30 seconds of two videos? But we're going on almost 40 minutes. Yeah, that's the crib side. It's funny. No way to play the game the way I, play. I guess that was the last pack, yeah. Well, Team Tommy, we learned some valuable information today. I hope you deem it as valuable. Um... I, I guess we did learn some, some good stuff. We learned some good stuff, bro. I was going to say we didn't really learn anything about rules, but, like, we learned some cool info. We learned some cool info. Well, love, peace, and chicken grease, Team Tommy.